in today's class we are going to discuss on the concept of current distribution in thin wire antennas so as in previous classes we were discussing about how the radiation mechanism occurs in single wire two wire as well as dipole this is concept uh, like extension to that in this exactly what we are going to find out is uh, if we take a conductor just nothing but antenna in that how actually the current will be distributed that we are going to discuss so straight the way we cannot uh, go to the final antenna concept we will go step by step see in the first uh, diagram what i have done is just i have taken two pair of transmission lines right like this so in this you can observe clearly here it is not shown in the diagram that here a source will be present at this end and this end is left as open you can see here if we excite the source at this end the current starts flowing like this so here at this end it is left as open then what happens to that current it cannot leave this area right so if you have a load connected here automatically it will be collected there but there is no load or nothing it is just left as open circuit so in this area what happens we will see now you can observe here the current flowing directions will be opposite like this in these adjacent half sections for example from this end point we will take this length as lambda by 2 and this length as lambda by 2 here in antennas uh, one more important point is in antennas everywhere the length we will be mentioning in terms of wavelength okay why that uh, we will be taking we can discuss in another class so this we call it as half wavelength and this is another half wavelength so up to this section the current will be flowing in this direction actually but exactly at this point what has happened there is nothing to collect there so here the standing wave pattern starts forming when a standing wave pattern forms when there is impedance mismatch so in this direction incident waves will be flowing and because of mismatch what happens again a reflected wave will be formed like this so this pattern we call it as standing wave pattern if you observe clearly the flow of current directions are exactly opposite even though they are having same magnitude i not but they are of opposite directions so automatically what happens the net current becomes here equal to zero and at this end point you have your maximum voltage but current is simply zero at this point you have maximum current flowing but voltage is zero again here you have maximum voltage but current is zero in this way the entire section will be repeated but here if you observe clearly if you go with the concept of field formation here see these two parallel lines are very close to each other there is no much separation between them very smaller distance so here if you imagine on your own here the current flow direction is like this the current flow direction is like this just consider this section what happens here the field will be formed like this and exactly opposite direction the field will be formed for this so both of them actually what happens they will nullify they will get cancelled with respect to each other automatically the net output will be simply zero so if we have this type of arrangement the output radiation will not be present the current will be flowing but the antenna uh, type concept will not be possible if we place a wires just like this this is uh, similar like transmission line concept but in transmission lines what we do is we have a load at this end and we will have impedance matching section so it can act like a transmission line but this cannot act like antenna now what we can do just modify this diagram a little bit see the second diagram what is the modification we have done we have done some flaring for the same parallel wires like this because of this flaring you can observe a magic happens what is happening is up to this point the distance between two wires is small but after crossing this point observe here there is more separation between these two lines because of this separation what happens is the field will not get cancelled our main concept is this one only in this case there is very small separation between these two lines because of that the field has been cancelled here but if you come to the second uh, flared transmission line concept the rest of the thing entirely remains same that's why i have not repeated here if you observe here 
there is no chance of field cancellation and if you increase more and more separation the net radiation increases very greatly so here in this section we can expect some amount of net radiation comes out why because here we have started opening these two wires or we have increased the flaring or opening so because of this what happens in this direction the current flows in this direction the current comes like this here we have a source so entirely like this the floating will be there and the fields will be formed like this but because of difference in phases the fields will not get cancelled and still more modified we can go for this concept this is finally the structure of antenna that is linear dipole so in this linear dipole we have framed a complete antenna you can see clearly this flaring we have done like this exactly linear with this structure we can bring out a complete antenna which can give maximum amount of radiation in this see here the here a source will be present you can see the flow of current direction it goes like this and ends at this point and here the field will be created like this and there is no chance of field calculation a very few amount of field will be reinforced and it will be mixed but most of the field gets radiated into the free space the reason is if you see the net current directions will be like this here and this goes like this comes like this again here also the current direction is upward see the net field is completely in the same direction so all the fields get added to each other and automatically the radiation pattern will be generated so in all these three cases we are just looking uh, from basic pair of transmission line to nearly antenna structure and final antenna now the concept we are going to justify the title is current distribution in thin wire antennas that we are going to see now see here in this i have first to taken a very very thin antenna which practically we don't prefer but we need to understand that one also here the length of the antenna is very very small that is l will be very much very much lesser than lambda by 50 this much small length of antenna we are going to consider see here the same antenna structure i have taken but the size of this antenna is very very small you can see the output pattern will be like this it is simply a triangular distribution so this type of uh, concept you will be having in your competitive exams also they'll just uh, mention the length of the antenna and they'll ask uh, what will be the type of uh, uh, distribution of current so there you can uh, specify this point if the length of antenna is very very small uh, say practical lambda by 50 then the output current pattern will be like this current distribution will be triangular if say it is very very smaller that means lambda by 100 or lambda by 1000th part simply we can say the current is uniform which is not practically possible even this is also very difficult to construct now we'll enter into practical case see the second case this is the most widely used practical antenna which length is l is equal to lambda by 2 that means half wave dipole antenna most practically used antenna see the shape of this current distribution here is half sinusoidal right this we call it as sinusoidal current distribution this is most practically used antenna why because you observe clearly at the end of the poles see all the examples i have taken dipole antennas why we are calling them dipole if you yeah. look the diagram itself you can understand you have two poles one at the end another at the end right and i have taken center fed antennas that means feeding point is center so here you can see the output or current distribution pattern is sinusoidal so here the current will be maximum at this point and minimas at the end of the poles and here voltage becomes zero here voltage will be maximum here voltage will be maximum you can expect maximum radiation along the center of the dipoles right so the pattern will be like this the current distribution pattern takes place like this and next we are going to take the next set of different length see here we are varying the lengths of the antenna 
and we are observing how the current is distributed right first we have taken very small antenna next we have increased the length to lambda by 2 the next section we have taken the length between lambda by 2 and lambda right here you can see the pattern is not exactly sinusoidal the output is bisected that means it is like divided into two parts so here you have maxima current here again you have maxima current here again it is decreased at the poles it is exactly zero so here a different way of current distribution is present if i take the length between lambda by 2 and lambda and if we go to the last uh, uh, example here the length is less than 3 lambda by 2 and completely you can observe a very different distribution of current you have three maximas and two minimas <coughs> excuse me and here at the poles it remains same you may get it out why this is happening as i am continuously changing the length of the antenna the distribution of currents is getting changed why this happens is because as you are changing the lengths of the antenna the distribution of currents will be changing because their phases start to change in the first case if you take the phase of the current will be uniform in this case see here the current direction like this like this uniform phase current is present that's why you get a sinusoidal type of output one maximum but if you are changing the lengths what will happen the current will be changing the phases of the currents will be changing automatically what happens because of these different phases usually in space what happens time it is time bounded if at particular time period two waveforms have same phase they get added but if two waveforms are in out of time phase they get they may get cancelled so because of that at some points you get maximum current distribution at some points you get minimum current distribution which is non-uniform but practically if you go for a concept of antennas most widely used one is half wavelength dipole antenna because it gives the maximum utilization of our antenna concept and most of the students will be getting doubt how we are drawing this patterns there is very very important thing behind this how i am getting these patterns is very simple we have a mathematical approach for getting the radiation patterns like this which you will be studying in your second unit there exactly you will be taking an antenna and discussing the mathematical uh, concepts related to field components that is uh, electric field component magnetic field component say e theta e phi as well as er h theta h phi and hr you'll be discussing about these uh, these six components and we can draw the diagrams like this you will be able to draw the radiation patterns on your own if you know all the concepts of deriving these things we can get these patterns very easily so that we'll be discussing later classes so here just we are discussing only the fundamentals right so as you start changing the length of the antenna automatically the distribution of current gets changed all these patterns what we are showing is related to current distribution how the current is distributed in the antennas if you are gone changing the length somebody may think that if you continuously take a very big antenna we may get a very very large huge currents but that's not completely true you can see from this example itself as here we can see a very good output current distribution but here you can see some non-uniform type of distribution so it depends on like applications which type of application we choose how we need a radiation pattern accordingly we have to choose the length of the antenna thanks for watching this video thank you